Structures. Structures are more difficult to understand than mechanisms. For example, with a mechanism such as gears, if you turn this gear, then that one moves sideways. This is a rack and pinion. With a lever, if you push down, you can see the other end move up. But with a structure, when you put a load on it, you don't see the result. The arrows here show how the force is transmitted to the base. The downward component is supported by the ground. The horizontal component is supported by the sidewalls, each one called a buttress. A structure is basically any material that can support a load. And there are so many things that can be called a structure that it will help to understand them better using these three classifications. There are frame structures, solid structures, and shell structures. Let's first look at frame structures. The skeleton of a frame structure supports the weight of the other parts and the loads placed on it. Examples are this bridge, a suspension bridge, a chair and table, a scaffolding, and a bicycle. These are human-made examples. In nature, leaves and cobwebs or spider webs are also considered frame structures. Solid structures rely on strong construction materials to support loads. Dams and stone bridges like this are able to resist heavy weights pressing on them including strong winds and natural disasters. Doors are also considered to be solid structures, the solid ones, but not the hollow core doors. And these cement pylons are another example. A shell structure is defined by being an outer surface that may be rounded or flat surrounding an inner area. Its shape spreads the force of the load throughout the whole structure so that every part supports only a small part of the load and this is what gives it its strength. Here is, for example, a concert shell. A boat's hull is a shell structure. Also, airplane, car, helmet, and water bottles are all uh, shell structures. Is this a shell structure? A wind turbine is actually hollow in the center, as we can see a person climbing up inside, and therefore wind turbines are considered shell structures. If it were solid, like a hydropole, for example, then that would be called a solid structure. Now let's not forget living things. The turtle shell and lobster shell are shell structures, as also is an egg. If we look again at the opening slide, we can now recognize the Eiffel Tower as a frame structure, as well as the, on the top left, uh, top right, the Agora Tower in Taipei, the capital of Taiwan. This interesting building was designed to resemble the double helix structure of DNA. Living things like trees and humans and spider webs are also frame structures. In summary, examples of frame structures are bridges of the suspension variety, chairs and tables, bicycles, leaves, cobwebs, and now we can add the uh, human frame and uh, apartment building. Examples of solid structures are dams, bridges, doors, uh, wooden doors, and concrete pylons. And shell structure examples, water bottles, helmets, cars, airplanes, boat hulls, wind turbines, eggs, turtles. And now some comments about structures from Bill Nye. I'll bet you're standing or sitting on a structure because chairs and floors are structures. So are ropes and uh, sliding doors. Structures include things you might not have thought of too, like cat whiskers. Let's face it, structures are cool. Now this is the model suspension bridge of science. And like any structure, its shape depends on what it does. And its strength depends on what it's made of and its shape. Why does it look like that? Form follows function. Oh. Did you know that? Structures are everywhere and can be almost anything. Not just buildings and bridges. Did you know that? Structures come in almost every shape. If you would like to quiz yourself, here are nine structures that can be classified under these three headings. There are three structures for each heading. If you are ready, I will now show the answer. Here it is. And this ends part one of structures.